Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One, Coleman Street, Belleville. Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel are no longer a couple. The two decided to end their relationship recently, and their no hard feelings was completely mutual, and they both decided it was time to move on. They started dating back in 2007. There was a lot of action at Charlie Sheen's house last night. Not the kind you're thinking of. Lawyers for Sheen and his estranged wife say they settled their custody, child custody issues. Uh, lawyers for Sheen and Brooke Mueller say terms of settlement will be kept confidential for the sake of their twin sons until Charlie decides to tell everybody in the media. That's right, yeah. Los Angeles police went to Sheen's house after the agreement was announced. Details haven't been released, but Sheen tweeted, all good here on the home front. I guess there was like 50 officers surrounding oh the house. Oh, my gosh. Meantime, the Salvadoran Consul General in Los Angeles wants Charlie Sheen to apologize for what he says were disrespectful comments about his country. Walter Duran made the remarks yesterday at a news conference held in response to Sheen. Earlier in the week, I guess Charlie said he'd rather move to El Salvador and sell shoes than battle his estranged wife in court for custody of their twin sons. Not good, Charlie. Meantime, he wasn't kidding when he said he would write a book about his life called Apocalypse Me. Obviously, the title is based on his, the movie his dad, Martin Sheen, starred in Apocalypse Now. The publishers who spoke to the Associated Press say they've all turned down the memoir and they're amazed anyone would take it, even if a finished work would be a bestseller. Casey Abrams did not show for American Idol last night. He was hospitalized with an undisclosed ailment. Who went home? It was Ashton Jones. Uh, she was one of the judges' favorites but didn't get the top votes. Comedian Gallagher is hospitalized in Minnesota after collapsing during a performance in Minnesota. Has nothing to do with the watermelon people. You're kidding. He's in stable condition, will be hospitalized overnight. And the infamous White House party crasher, uh, Mikhail Salahi, uh, she's been kicked off celebrity rehab with Dr. Drew after it was determined she didn't have an addiction to anything. I was going to say. Dr. Drew, could we do a little more investigation before we take these so-called celebrities in? Addicted to crashing. I don't know what that is. Addicted to celebrities. <laughs> yeah. If you're celebrating a birthday today, you share the state with actor Johnny Knoxville. He's 40, and Benji and Joel Madden of Good Charlotte are 32. That's the Hollywood Hot Seat brought to you by Carpet One and Quinny's Greatest Hits, 95.5 Hits FM.